First, my lady Auxilia Umningagwa finds herself embroiled in the growing factionalism within the ruling ZANU-PF party in a stunning turn of events. Senior party leaders have been suspended as a result of the aftermath. With accusations made that they neglected to rally supporters for an event that the First Lady was hosting. Newsday reports that the members of the Harare Provincial Wing, Lorraine Vengesai, the Secretary for Lands, and Elizabeth Munieri, the Secretary for Finance, have been placed on indefinite leave of absence. The party has not yet set a hearing date to see out what will happen to them. On November 24, 2023, the Provincial Disciplinary Committee's chairperson, Ephraim Fundukwa, issued the restriction orders. The First Lady is said to have removed Godwill's Masamarembwa. The Provincial Chairwoman of ZANU-PF, from a meeting which led to the suspensions. Masamarembwa faced consequences for failing to sufficiently organize attendees for the First Lady's function, which was intended to open a kitchen for orphans. The party managed to organize three buses, but it was unable to fill them to capacity as a result of inadequate mobilization efforts. Amai Auxilia Umningagwa took action against Masamarembwa. The letters of suspension sent to Munieri included grave charges of misbehavior, claiming that she had purposefully damaged the First Lady's event. It was also claimed that Munieri, working with others, purposefully dissuaded people from attending official events in an effort to weaken the authority of the province. In a related event, Reason Mabhedla, the Youth League Secretary for Education, and Olive Verimu, popularly known as Olembi in ZANU-PF circles, were facing a two-year suspension. The two were charged with planning a demonstration at the party headquarters earlier this year against the provincial leadership. Insiders in the party assert that the Massamarembu-led provincial executive had a say in the suspensions. In order to discuss their concerns about the purported imposition of a daily protection cost of five U.S. dollars by Emmanuel Mahachi, the provincial youth chair of ZANU-PF, Verimu and Mabhedla requested a meeting with Masamarembwa. Masamarembwa's close ally Mahachi was defeated by current Mbair MP Martin Madanyanya in the party's primary elections. There are several rumors that Masamarembwa is plotting revenge through the suspension of Verimu and Mabhedla. Masamarembwa supported the disciplinary measures, stressing that chaos within the party would not be tolerated by the provincial leadership. If they disagreed with the conclusions made, he urged them to appeal to the National Disciplinary Committee. But a member of the Central Committee who wished to remain nameless expressed worries, saying that Masamarembwa and Fundukwa were mistreating their competitors. Some consider the termination of Verimu and Mabhedla as a targeted act of retaliation since they spearheaded a group of young people and party supporters in a petition against Mahachi's collection of protection costs. Nine top members from President Emerson Umingagwa's home region of Midlands have already been suspended from the ZANU-PF party due to internal turmoil. The party must work hard to keep its unity and deal with the underlying factional problems that are endangering its stability as tensions rise.